I love Death Stranding. Welcome to The Preacher Plays. I love Death Stranding when it first came out. Hideo Kojima's uh, vision of a post-apocalyptic world, really, but America, um, in which you play Sam, a delivery man who is doing everything he can, uh, sometimes against his will, to keep or to bring people back together. It just happened to have come out at just the right time as the pandemic was uh, getting underway and so really took on a whole nuanced extra feeling for me as I was playing it on PC. So a lot of you can have experienced that. I'm in fact, I loved it so much. You can see I ended up with all of the achievements. Um, I I platinumed. Is that what they say on PS5? But this is Steam PC. I I got the full award. Greatest of great deliverers. Only 1.5% of players have this achievement. And when I heard that Death Stranding Director's Cut was coming, I had to play it as well. So let's go ahead and install it. And while that installs, I'll tell you what I'm thinking. One moment as I put this under... You know what? No, we're going to put this on the main computer, I think. Let's do that. Now. Well, Death Stranding is installing. Uh, let me just tell you that I love the game so much. Uh, I've decided, even though the original Death Stranding had a download patch uh, recently that would enable you to export your character so that all of your progress is saved and you could just carry that over to Death Stranding Director's Cut, I've decided to go ahead and to restart the game uh, from scratch and try to platinum this one again. Same 63 uh, awards are available. So I'm planning, uh, at least I think it's the same, 63 awards. If not, maybe it's some new ones, but uh, I'm planning on doing the All same right, thing here with Death Stranding Director's Cut. And let's step into a world of post-apocalyptic American nightmare. Yeah, they're going to use that to connect our games together. Yep, that's fine. We are going to check some options real quick. Game difficulty. What do they got? Hard? I did very hard on the first one. I am not doing very hard on this game. Because the only thing I really noticed was that it made your uh, equipment degrade super fast. So we're just going to go normal mode on this. I, I don't think it makes the game any harder. It's not really a hard game anyhow. And that should do it. I am not going to load the old save data. We're going into a new game in three, two, one. New additional content. Standard issue bridges, gold and silver. New additional content. Patches. The additional items can be fabricated. Odra deck attention, caution, danger, emergency, Bama. And Kojima Productions. Okay, these are new to me. BB Pod Chiral Gold. Omni Reflector. Okay, we'll get there eventually, and hopefully I won't have to edit out too many loading screens. One of the things I've noticed about the former Death Stranding was that, yes, it was very difficult for me to, um, to load. I mean, it would take a long time to load, but then it wouldn't take long times in between anything else. So just that initial load time like this, I may have to cut the rest of this and just go straight to 100%. Once there was an explosion, a bang which gave birth to time and space. Once there was an explosion, a bang which set a planet spinning in that space. Once there was an explosion, a bang which gave rise to life as we know it. And then came the next explosion. Dirty hands, sweaty 
Such a beautiful game. Sam Porter Bridges. Oop, can't go there, can you, Sammy boy? The deer running away. That poor deer getting ready to fall off the cliff. It can't, there it goes. Can't make its way up. And the birds are dying. Cinematic storytelling. Nice jump. go recover your cargo then find shelter from the rain we're going to do that uh lt y for the back that's what we're going to do with that and i don't know there was more cargo than that i thought he had a few pieces of cargo um i don't know if you can see yeah there's lars cargo there i forgot about the adra deck Nothing over that way. This game just is beautiful. Um, I don't know how it stacks up in terms of being optimized or not optimized. My system doesn't mind it so much. I'm trying to remember, is it the two triggers? Yeah, the two triggers stabilizes my grip. And we got that. Good deal. 
And I think the cave is just up. Oh, there's the cave over there. So, yeah. And I don't think there's any more... Any more packages around here for me to pick up. And if you pull the two triggers, then he stabilizes his run. This game, uh, for all of its... Uh, I'll call it excitement um, for me. And I know I'm going the wrong direction. I'm kind of doing that on purpose. Um, I didn't get to explore uh, much when I was uh, just getting started in the game. There we go. Grip for balance. And I wanted to take the time to do a little bit of exploration. There is Fort Knot City where I'm headed. And I know the story is about ready to take another turn. Let me look behind me real quick. No packages on the horizon, which is unexpected. There. Well, let's go ahead and finish going over to the cave that we're supposed to go in. And we will meet well, a special character there. Well, actually, we will meet a couple of characters, including one of the stars of the show. Um, and, and I and I can use the word show pretty freely because uh, now what am I seeing? I'm seeing two different package descriptions. There's nothing over there, right? Yeah. Yeah, I know, Sam, you're not fond. Smart drugs, we're going to pick those up later. Um, I don't know. Yeah, we're going to be in the cave. And there is a package in there. I'm going to take a look at it. I love this Odredek scanner that allows you to... Um, here, jump. There we go. It allows you to see what is going on. And now we got it. And I've lost control. There you can see that the time fall affects Sam as well. Something else is affecting Sam right now. sprouting and dying instantaneously as the time fall accelerates their growth. See the fingers. Fingers 
there's dragging in the dirt there. As whatever that was moves away. There you see him. Shadowy figures in the sky. Searching for something. Chiral allergies at work there. I know I'm giving away parts of the storyline. Um, prologue. Order. I think they're gone. <laughs> what the hell? Didn't mean to grab you so hard. Tears. A chiral allergy. So, you have dooms, like me. I've got the extinction factor. But I think you got me beat. What's your level? You can see them, right? No, but I can sense them. Level two, then. What are you doing here? Trying to stay dry. Same as you. Time falls let up. My name is Fragile. Yeah, I've heard of you. <laughs> that right? Some Porter Bridges. The man who delivers. Come work for me? Must be tough out here on your own. Yeah, I thought Fragile Express had plenty of people. Plenty of traitors. Not much left of us now, save for a few honest folks. And on top of that, not much left of me either. Got soaked from neck to toe. And I can't help you with that. I make deliveries. That's all. This is Bridges Central Dispatch. Freelance contractor Sam Porter Bridges. Receiver is standing by for drop. Headed into town. Watch yourself. Those things never stay gone for long.
The time full fast forwards whatever it touches, but it can't wash everything away. The past just won't let go. I'll see you around, Sam Porter Bridges. Okay, well that is quite the story. We got to pick up some of Sam's cargo here. We know there's some more out here because we saw it earlier. It's a challenge because I want to talk about all of the things that we just experienced. And there were quite a few things with the time fall and the rapid aging of the birds. We're going to eat some cryptos. Make sure there's nothing else over there. I want to be as thorough as I can be. Yeah, there's a package down there. Smart drugs. Music is so good. I want to listen to this.
As the music fades into the background, we uh, get a chance now to talk a little bit about some of the things that we've seen. I got to tell you, um, the music in this game, it's its not my genre. Uh, I mean, I've never, I don't know what you call it, I, indie pop, I don't know what the music style is, but I really, really do like it. Uh, of course, use your Audra deck as you're going through here to scan and try not to walk in the yellows. And you can see my stamina is getting kind of low, so let's stop and hold on to our uh, chest pieces there for a little bit, our straps, and uh, finish picking up the last of the smart drugs as we make our way through. If I let that stamina go all the way down, uh, then what you're going to experience is <laughs> me falling over, and I don't want to do that. So I think there's some more items up top. So we're going to continue heading into Central Knot City here in just a moment. But I want to get the rest of the things. This game is not going to be any kind of a high-tension playthrough. I intend to enjoy myself. Right now I am actively, like I think a lot of people, playing Elden Rune. Or Elden Ring, I'm sorry. And Elden Ring is, uh, it's a different kind of game. It is uh, far more intensive um, working on locations and working on investigating everything. And, and I, I'll probably want to do some of that here, but for different reasons, just because it's really such a beautiful place to be. I am carrying too much cargo or getting pretty close. Uh, so that is pretty cool. As we approach Central Knot City, um, we're going to find out uh, just how easy it is, or perhaps is not, to uh, finish what we started. I guess I'm going to say it that way. And I wish I could kind of pull up a map. There we go. I forgot. That is the, Anybody hear that's me? the left menu button. Okay. Very good. Very good. Oh, that's right. The left click is to run or not run. Okay. Looks like there's another package over here. Yeah, we can run a little bit, wear Sam out. I don't mind doing that. And let's go pick up this little piece of large cargo that seems to be on the other side of this hill. Let's go this way. Now, the rugged, rugged terrain here. Um, I find it so, so beautiful and compelling. This is apparently what happens when Timefall hits the U.S. It starts looking like Iceland. I am approaching my cargo weight limit. I know stuff. UAC? UCA 01001. This is the first uh, capital city of the United Cities of America. Good deal. As we enter in... We can kind of look around. There's no other pieces that are showing up on radar. So we're officially in this protected region now. And the force fields, I'm going to guess, keep the time fall. Or at least whatever those creatures are away. So everything in here has been scanned. I don't think going up there does anything for us. Actually, I want to see. Because this is our last chance to really be in city number one. Okay, that'd be just going down there. Nope. Very good. Death Stranding definitely tells a story. And if your cargo is off center, ha, then you're going to struggle the way Zam is struggling. And that's, uh, that's quite the thing. The game is extremely cinematic. And... It is worth the effort to stop every once in a while and to look around and just explore the world that Hideo Kojima and his team at Kojima Productions have created. It's a beautiful place, but let's go into the delivery center now and make our very first delivery. Indeed, perhaps our only delivery here. Um, this is four out of four. And uh, some lost ration packs? 
picked up some lost tools. And uh, I think we are really overloaded. Let's deliver it all. I'm going to be occasionally skipping some of these loading scenes. Uh, because the game does turn into a lot of deliveries. What took you so long? It's not like the legend to come in late. Had to wait out the storm. Lost my bike. Sounds like you've been through the ringer. Luckily, our goods are in perfect condition. Well, you did keep us waiting, but everything else seems to be in perfect order, so... Great work. We'll be awaiting the next delivery. Zero percent delivery damage, despite the fact that I fell off my bike. And we get the first of our likes. This game's currency is all likes. And the map plays out. Awesome. Delivering is what I do. Achievement unlocked. Forty-two is the answer. All right, I feel like uh, I'm about ready to turn on auto skip, except this is the very last item, and I probably will not watch all of these screens again. So might as well enjoy it this time. Let's advance from level zero. And let's go ahead and speed this up. We are now order level six. Excuse me. I'm uh, sorry about that. All right, we're getting ready to enter into another deeply cinematic moment as I'm not in control of my character at all and very little control will be given. Man, I want a truck like that. Igor, Bridges Corpse Disposal. Sam Porter, I presume? Right. Not the touchy-feely type. Document said you had some kind of phobia. Bridges' corpse disposal? What happened? Look, gotta get a move on. I'll explain as we go. Come on. Come and take a look. Incinerator. How long since he flatlined? We don't know the exact QD, but I'd say it's been upwards of 40 hours. He wasn't quarantined. Not sick. This is a suicide. Oh, Jesus. We're just lucky we found him at all. Got him on ice ASAP, but who knows when he'll go necro. Where are you taking him? Uh, closest incinerator's to the north. This route's crawling with PTs. Sure you can't use another? I wish I could, but there's no time. Then just burn the poor bastard right here. And put all that chirillum in the air so close to town? Can't do it. Better that than trying for the incinerator. Hey, we can do this. We just need someone like you with dooms. The 
first stages of necrosis. If we don't hurry, this place is a crater. So how about it? Can we count on you? Then Bridges hereby enters into a contract with Sam Porter. Sam. Just Sam. And I can't spot BTs. Just sends them. That's why we came prepared. A bridge baby, huh? With its help and you, we'll be able to stay one step ahead of them. Makes me feel like shit every time. Well, you are plugging into the other side. Freaks me out, too. Roll out! And away they go. I absolutely love those trucks. <laughs> I really do. We're going to have to try and investigate. What are these bridge babies? What is dunes? What are BTs? Questions that demand answering. We're just going to have to be patient as we slowly try to figure this out. And by the way, in this particular playthrough, I am not focused uh, entirely. Different when I was a Whoop, kid. Listen, listen to this. America is a country. Anybody could go anywhere they damn well please. No need for couriers like itself. Highways, airplanes, they even visit other countries. Hard to imagine now. Then you can see the best spending focus full of holes. Fucked us beyond all recognition. And if you were lucky enough to survive, the time fall came and washed you away. Then those freaks from the beach showed up. Ooh, I didn't World notice that. The living and the dead all mixed together. And that's when yeah. folks started holing up in the cities. That's a bad Curtis sign. Like yourself got put up on a pedestal. Son of a bitch. Rainbow. Upside down rainbow without any blue. How much further to the incinerator? This guy's about to pop. Shit. We're gonna have to cut to the BTs. You're about to discover how terrifying that can be. We are tearing up the road now. Right where they want us. Get us out of here. Oh, that's not good. No, nothing. <laughs> the black strands. This BB must be busted or something. Igor's not going to make it.
stone clear, apparently. Well, Sam's hurt his leg. He's bleeding. And the driver. goes.
as Sam awakens on the beach. We find a tenderness in him that we're not going to see almost ever. That is just the introduction to what is a truly astounding game. Falling down, falling hmm. down, land and bridges falling down. My fair lady. Sam is a repatriate, meaning he can return to life from the place known as the Seam, where I am right now, when killed. In the Seam, follow the Strand to guide Siam's soul to his body to bring it back. Alright, let's go ahead and hit X to repatriate. of Hideo Kojima's there was an explosion a bang which gave rise to life as we know it and then came the next explosion
an explosion. That will be our last. What an introduction. There is so much to learn in this game. And I want so much to be able to share a lot of it with you. I am excited. And I know in this first episode there has not been a lot of my dialogue. Because right now, the star of the show is absolutely the game. As Sam Porter Bridges is introduced to us and this weird events around his life, his repatriation. He's allowed to come back from the dead. And what is the seam? And what is this BB? Contrary to the name, I've never actually died. I would advise against that. I'm no expert, but I can assure you it's for your own protection. See? So I'm a prisoner. These aren't handcuffs. They're cutting-edge devices that keep us all connected. Us? Yep, Bridges. Humanity's best hope for the future. Or avoiding extinction, if you prefer. Right. Where am I? What time is it? Watch me. Try pressing it against your skin, like this. <laughs> Relax. That just means your body's got a good connection to the cufflink. Look, look. Cuffs will watch over you 24 hours a day. That is to say, we will. We're here to help. What the hell? Two days. During that time, we took the liberty of collecting fluid samples from you. You're a repatriate. That makes you very special. What happened to the CD guys? Central Knot was obliterated in the Annihilation. Game over, man. Place is a crater. The only ones to get it continue were you, for obvious reasons, and your broken bridge baby. Is it all right? Uh, it's been marked for disposal. Didn't work anymore. Why keep it? Uh, we lost everyone. Not just corpse disposal. My team, HQ, all of Redford, every soul in Central Knot City. We're at our base in Capital Knot City now. Or should I say, our new headquarters. Sudbury seemed the logical choice. But our implementation team has been decimated. And there's only so much they can do in two days. Things here are a mess. Fortunately, the director and his support team were out of town at the time, so the chain of command remains intact. I hate to do this so soon, but... I have a job for you. Huh. Uh, uh, this stencil 
is from when you repatriated? Ah, uh, what's the other mark from? A clingy woman in a cave. Hmm, huh? I see. Affenfossumphobia. No wonder you were out there alone, where no one could touch you. I'll try to be more careful, Sam. So, uh, the job is an urgent delivery. I need you to bring the president some morphine. What president? America's gone. You talking about the mayor of Central Knot? No, 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 no. Not the mayor. America lives on, Sam. The president is in the final stages of cancer, in critical condition. But there's still time. Why me? Look, Sam. Do as I ask, and I promise it will all make sense. Why don't you do it? Because I'm not really here. <sighs> Apologies. This is just a chirogram. And here oh, come the tears. Allergic reaction to the chiral transmission. I'm actually over in the isolation ward in the big triangle building. Ah, here is the morphine. Bridges hereby enters into a contract with Sam Porter. Come on, you got morphine there. What's this about? Tell me the truth. The truth, Sam, is that America's last president wants to see you in person. Are you really about to say no? Very good. I'll see you in the isolation ward. Wow, we have absolutely covered so much ground and have barely had a chance to say anything about what is really going on in this game. That's one of the things to be expected in Death Stranding, is the way that so many times you are just brought along on the story. If that story is something we're going to have to investigate the next time, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you're enjoying just the intro of the game, and we'll get into it the next time. For now, I am the Preacher, and I will see you next time.